Hello, uh, welcome to the screencasting uh, where we will be seeing about Cesium JS, uh, which is nothing but a JavaScript library for generating 3D globes as well as 2D maps um, and 2.5D maps, which are one of my favorite uh, on a browser without a plugin. Okay. Uh, the only requirement is that the browser be uh, capable to support WebGL and HTML5. Uh, the fun part is that CZM.js is an open source and it's free for commercial and non-commercial use. So this is their website CZM.js.org and uh, uh, you have, uh, you can uh, go and look at certain demos which they have. Uh, since I'm planning on keeping the video short and we have long series of videos which are lined up, I'm directly going to dive in and uh, let's go and get started. All right. So if we go over there, um, give it a second for it to load. Yep. Uh, so this is how the globe is going to look like and uh, uh, this is where you can download the file from okay this file is approximately around 35 MB right now I'm gone I'm not going to make you wait uh, to see the file download on my system so I have already downloaded it and uh, unzipped the particular file okay and um, so the place where I have placed it is uh, under uh, var www whatever I have unzipped I have placed it under a uh, folder called as c1 let's go one level up so these are the files which you would typically see after unzipping the file which you download over here okay that's cesium b30 and um, let me take uh, take you over the network diagram which i currently have uh, so the system which you uh, are seeing uh, the the browser which the system is running on is currently at 192.168.1.30 uh, which I have taken a, a remote uh, from my recording system of 192.168.1.2. Okay, the uh, CZM and the Apache is running inside a virtual machine, which I'll show in a second. So this is the particular virtual machine where CZM JS is running. So that's uh, at the IP of 192.168.1.4. So since Apache is running, port 80 is open on that, and I also have port 22 open on that particular box, so that I can SSH from my, uh, so this is going to SSH from my base machine. So that is nothing but this particular terminal. All right, cool. Now that we have uh, got our basics right, uh, uh, I have also uh, done uh, uh, a file system mounting of this particular machine onto my host machine okay using something called as gbfs uh, which is nothing but gnu virtual file system format um, you can use whatever you like like uh, scp if you are on a windows box or something like that um, so after doing that i use a particular lightweight ide called genie so here you can see that dot gbfs is mounted for that particular ip and um, I am opening up C1 apps. That's where the hello world HTML is. So let's let's go inside the apps folder. LS. So this is the file which I have opened up here for uh, here. All right. Um, okay. So let's go over this particular file. Um, okay. Uh, I, I, I'm not to say that I'm actually a guru in cesium earth because this is really vast and I have been using this only f over the past four weeks that to mainly over my weekends. Okay. So uh, I found a little, uh, little bit of learning curve is there. So I thought like why not we make a video so that others can have an easy stepping stone and uh, uh, start coding on cesium earth uh, with greater ease. Okay, I'm not a uh, developer by any chance. Like I develop only on my free time and as my will chooses it to be. Um, so this is the source where we are including the cesium JS. This is given very well given in their documentation website. Uh, uh, so most of what I'm going to say is going to be there in their documentation website. Uh, there are certain things which I have included uh, addi in addition to whatever is there on the documentation website. Um, so, uh, and this is where we are including the widgets. 
and uh, the only thing which is required for the globe to appear is we are going to uh, initialize a variable called as viewer okay and the viewer is going to hold cgm dot viewer cgm container that is it so once you do that let me have this minimized wonderful let's head over to 192 168 apps hello world okay so if you were to directly go to the folder where you have extracted all the folder uh, all the files you can see documentation hello world example cgm viewer blah 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 there are lot of things uh, i don't want to uh, uh, my blah blah doesn't mean that i'm mocking it's like it's too too many things to be told on this particular video so um, uh, great jobs uh, great job by the people at uh, ccm so uh, if, we, if we can directly click on app so if you see the url at, at the bottom you can see that it's c1 apps hello world so we can click on that or type in apps hello world dot html so as soon as we type that we can see that uh, we ended up uh, seeing a virtual globe okay so uh, we can uh, spin the globe if we want to uh, this is the timeline bar uh, uh, sort of things associated with animations and stuff uh, uh, this is a search bar probably this is home uh, this is what uh, enables us to change from a 3d globe to a 2d map like so or a 2.5D which happens to be my favorite because we can have the comfort of both 3D as well as 2D wherein uh, 2D as in like we can see the whole earth at a stretch and we can have bars sticking out of this okay uh, 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 denoting values in each and every location of the world we can scroll to zoom okay if you hold on to the control button and click your left mouse and start dragging you can see the earth move you can turn it in the way you would like to okay if you for some reason if you do not like the map so what you can do is uh, layering of the map you can go ahead and very well have it changed to whatever you want so there are many options to choose from so if you want you can go with this or if you want you can select natural earth or if you want to view the earth at the night so you can select black marble so here you see uh, the lit up part of the world All right so i suppose where you don't see lights civilization is very less so okay so that is it for the first uh, video uh, in this long series of cesium earth uh, with whatever i'm going to come up right now so if you find any mistakes uh, do uh, point them out to me in the commenting session uh, we'll see you in the next video bye bye